Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the nice introduction. I'm happy to be here and to present the work of Eisenhut in the field of bipolar plates made of uh, titanium or graphite compounds to you. We start with a small introduction to Eisenhut. When we go straight to the main topic, the uh, bipolar plates as uh, an important component in fuel cells, batteries and electrolyzers. The bipolar plate belongs in term of cost to the power setup. So if you want a high power output, you need bigger or um, more bipolar plates. I will give you a small overview of bipolar plates in general and especially made of a graphite compound. We will discuss some challenges on this material to justify the requirement of material research and uh, process research. At the end, we will make an excursion into some public funded projects which include Eisenhut. Overall, so, overall, Eisenhut has three product lines. At first, the conven conventional tool making in the field of injection molding of different plastics, for example, in the automotive sector. Second is the injection molding itself in small and medium scaled series. And the third is the bipolar plate. As already mentioned, the bipolar plate is part of batteries, fuel cells, and electrolyzers. The plates have two main functions. First, the collection of the current from the electrochemical device to the electrical device. And second, the conduction between um, different cells in a full stack. To illustrate that, uh, I, uh, we, sh um, we see here a stack for vanadium redox flow battery. It consists of two cells. You can locate them uh, if you search for the uh, two electrode pairs, in each, uh, con which are each connected to one membrane. In the middle is a literal bipolar plate that connected the cells, and at each end of the stack is the end plate that collect the current from the device. Um, These current collectors are supported by metallic collectors. So why we use here um, uh, both um, options of material, pure metal and the graphitic compound, we will see that if we look at the state, state of art by bipolar plates. The effective material in use in fuel cells for automotive applications are pure metals like uh, titanium, steels or coated metals um, because they have a very high conductivity and stability. In disadvantage, they have a high density and um, if a high corrosion resistance is required, like in the vanadium redox flow battery, metals cannot be used or must be coated with expensive noble metals. In addition, coatings have the disadvantage of variable uh, thermal expansion coefficients. Pearl graphite seems as a good alternative, but is highly fragile and has a high permeability. So the, uh, the combination of a polymer and a carbon, like the two, uh, two materials at the end, are the compromise between stability and uh, the conductivity. But um, the production uh, of these, uh, of the plates of made of this, of this uh, compound of uh, polymer and graphite is still, in, um, is still very high and uh, the energy consumption is also um, not optimized. <coughs> the bipolar plates made of, uh, made of polymer and uh, graphite are made by Eisenhut in three steps. At first, 
the compounding. So the polymer and the graphite are mixed together by uh, specific temperatures that the polymer is melting. Next, the produced compounds can be processed in the shape, uh, in the wanted shape of the bipolar plates by using hot pressing or injection molding. Um, the injection molding is analog to the normal uh, plastic or uh, polymer injection molding, but it is um, difficult to proceed. At last, the um, bipolar plates can be finished by adding a flow field by milling or uh, sealed with the gasket or um, can be quality checked by, uh, um, by the parameters that, um, that are like uh, the density, the conductivity, the strength or the permeability of the bipolar plate. The, the carbon composite uh, contains the filler, the conductor filler, like graphite, carbon black or carbon fibers. The properties of the produced bipolar plates uh, can highly differ by the used filler. For example, uh, here are um, in this uh, table, you see three types of graphite. The expanded, the synthetic, and the natural type. Each type, um, the plates that are produced uh, with each type, has uh, different uh, properties. The used polymer matrix um, is uh, selected by the temperature value that uh, by, by the temperature value or the stability of the polymer. So, one of the challenges is the conductivity that uh, follows the percolation model uh, that we will see in this graph. The percolation model says that the, um, the compound will only conduct if a, a typical value of the filler material is reached. To explain this, we have this REM picture. Uh, there we see the graphite as white structures in the black polymer. We can draw tracks where we uh, could, uh, where we can adjust um, uh, conductivity. And if we add more particles, we have more tracks but we are not in the, uh, but we cannot add uh, specific particles in the matrix, so we must add more filling material or mixing homogeneous. The second challenge is the processing, processing challenge itself, uh, especially in the injection molding. So in this example, the injection is on the top, and the material flows to the bottom, and we see uh, highly um, differences in the surface from the top to the bottom. So the uh, material, because of the, the, the limits of the material, are segregated. Now we will um, discuss some um, projects that in, which include Eisenhut, like the project BMAP, that includes a um, new bipolar plate type made of metallic, uh, met metallic uh, compound that will be used in an electrolyzer. Before it will be coded and then the new electrolyzer can um, proceed in the whole system. Here we see a microscopic picture from the, um, from the current state of the material. The surface is still a bit rough and we can scatter particles can be located so it's still in progress. The second project is Hypostack. In that project we want to develop a whole new uh, vanadium redox flow system with uh, new flow fields um, and uh, an optimized uh, system 
but um, the bipolar plate that is in use from the company Volterran is very thin and flexible, so there must new processes uh, found to integrate a uh, flow field in the thin layer. The third is UltraPress. Um, in this project we want to use a new heating method for the compound because it is uh, ferromatic active so we can use uh, induction to heat the compound without the mold if we make it of concrete. The last project is Improplate. Uh, there we want to um, develop or optimize a whole um, a whole production of uh, HT -prem, PEM stack and battery. Um, and Eisenhut takes the part of the uh, optimization of the uh, injection molding process. So that would be the end. If you have questions, please contact me or find me at the stand. Thank you very much. Sorry for the length. <laughs> no worries. Are there any questions from the audience right now? No? Okay, so I was wondering, you didn't really mention it, I think so. Where are you clients? Are, I mean, you're a German-based company. Are you mainly in Germany? Are you European? Are you worldwide? Uh, our company uh, uh, stays in Germany, but uh, we have uh, partners and uh, uh, um, deliver bipolar plates all over the world. We have a uh, project um, that uh, lasted uh, to this year with a Korean partner. And um, yeah. And uh, I also saw you showed our your research project. Mm -hmm. How much uh, of your company is like research focused, and most of the part is um, like in the market? The bipolar uh, part uh, is um, is um, the field with the bipolar production is uh, is. Mm, uh, in, in a high average on uh, the uh, research projects, uh, but uh, we have uh, um, pa um, uh, we deliver to uh, clients uh, in uh, Europe the uh, middle uh, middle scale series for the bipolar plate. So it's um, it's uh, um, it's not all research, but. Um, it's nice to have it. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. So if you want to discuss the topic further, please visit them at their booth, D53. It's in this direction, pretty much. Uh, you can talk to the experts of the company. Thank you very much.